Well, the first issue you have practicing in your, in your driveway and your adventure bike is it's quite hard to turn around. So we'll start off with a side stand U-turn. So your handlebars at full lock. I we'll grab the far side grab rail, pull the bike towards you. Right, it's on the front wheel at the moment. Balance the bike, it'll come quite light and then just turn around nice and easy. This comes in handy when you go down a narrow track which ends up being a dead end and you need to turn around. And if you're anything like me and can't do a skid spin U-turn, this comes in handy. Righto, first thing we're going to practice is uh, coming to a complete stop while standing. This is very important if you're a shorter rider on a tall adventure bike. The idea is to stay on your feet, come to a complete stop and, and plant your foot solidly on the ground. So just come to a stop. Now you want to keep the bike upright, your hip right over the side and plant your foot down on the ground. So the next thing I want to practice is dabbing my foot. So I'm going to come to a complete stop, dab my foot on the ground and take off again. That's better. So come to a stop, quick dab, take off again. So I've got used to coming to a complete stop, putting my foot down solidly, stopping briefly, dabbing my foot and taking off again. So now I'm going to try and ride as slow as I can and dab my foot when necessary. So I'm using the rear brake to control the speed and clutch, riding the clutch a lot, just trying to move as slowly as possible. Alrighty, that'll do for today. Hope you found this helpful, give you something to do while we're not out riding on the countryside. Oh, <laughs> double dab.